Hello and welcome, I'm Aruba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Poland Strong campaign in Europa Universalis 4. So where we left off last, we had just released Syria from the Ottomans, forcing all of the distant overseas provinces to become distant overseas because of the, you know, fictitious, special, invisible line in the ground that says that this is one continent and this is a different continent, and therefore this is distant overseas now. Ha ha ha. I love it. So, we have unroll. I, I don't think we actually have unrolled some. I think that's because I just loaded the game in. We're making 52,693 ducats a month, as per normal. Uh, what are these guys doing? We've got two separate fleets here. You are... I feel like on the tooltip, it should tell you what they're doing. Okay, it's just because one of them is a pirate fleet and the other one's something else. So, I don't really know who we're going to attack yet. I haven't really have, like, like, looked around yet, but... um. Novgorod is willing to accept vassalization, probably because their base tax is complete garbage. So I'm thinking what we'll do, since we are Poland, and we took influence, and so we've got that diplomatic annexation cost reduction, that we'll just improve relations with them and, and go for the alliance and all that. Uh, we have discovered that Norway has cancelled the right to military access they have been generously given by us. Oh. Okay. Norway's getting kind of small, um, small enough that we could feed, well, looks like Sweden may have just won that war. Nope, may have been a little while. Nope, they're currently at war. Ah. Swedish conquest of Agder. Sweden, you, um, are getting a little bit out of control here. I'm thinking what we also do is we improve relations with... They're fabricating the claim for the quest. Quest. Uh, our relations with Switzerland can be improved. Again, we need to integrate them. Let's work on improving relations with Norway, and maybe we can... I bet if we just ally them, they can call us in. We don't even need to enforce peace. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I don't really like the idea of Sweden getting any bigger. Commonwealth gets recruits flock to the standards recruitment time, or we could get permanent manpower. Uh, which province is this? I'm assuming it's probably going to be same culture. Just lost colonialism. Okay, it's uh, it's not. It's Rhinelander. Our manpower efficiency right now is at 117 percent, though, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess we'll take the manpower. Makes it worth more war score, too. We are losing ducats. Ducats of buckets. Because we have really expensive advisors. We are losing points due to the Foreign Aid Act. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. How about we become friends a little bit? I'd really prefer to improve relations with them. A little bit more before we... Uh, just because we can get 5 per tick. We want to have a 75% chance of getting Spy Offense plus 30%. Yeah. Loyal Unbelievers. Which one did we get? No, we actually got the bad one. Damn. 25% chance. And it happens every time. Fortify Oost. It is lacking fortifications. I think you're right. I think it needs an Earth Rampart. Military access from Denmark seems acceptable. We are still Catholic, we are at 3 stability, and we have 91 Papal influence. It would be awesome if the Papal State would just go ahead and become our vassal, but even if they don't, a little bit of improved relations there couldn't hurt either. We've been working to annex Bulgaria for 2,482 days. Holy crap. Wow. What is our diplomatic reputation? Hmm. How much longer does annexed subjects last? Eight more years. It'll be a little, be a little while then, so we can make that happen. Hey. Hey, you. How are you doing? Like, you're not, like, totally losing, right? And do I have a navy that we can use to transport our, our, tra our fleet? There's six transports here. Random light ship here. Why don't you protect trade in, uh... What's our primary note? I forget. English Channel, I think it was. Head all the way over there. K. 
can you guys get back back home? Because if we go to war with them, we have a land bridge up here. But I kind of feel like... What? Who are you and when did you start existing? I don't remember seeing them before. Maybe they were there. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Anyway, we need to protect Theodoro because I, I just don't think that they can they can handle it. Okay, well, in that case, this whole army can go north. Let's grab all three. We'll send one to Ingerman, Narva, Ocel, Osprasen. Hopefully that way, by spreading them out, they won't quite all travel together and we'll, we can avoid some attrition. We're converting all the things, because reasons. And, hey Norway, I, I think I'm ready to do this as soon as we get a diplomat. Where do we, where can we find a diplomat? Okay, we'll wait till June 1st. And then we will stop improving relations, and then we'll just offer the alliance. We could easily get them a lot... You know what? No, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, they're not about to lose the war. And they'll accept vassalization as they are right now, so... If we honor a call to arms from them, we could probably get them all the way up to 190. Like, right away. So we'll just have to hold off. I mean, we're getting five... We can get ten per month. Lost one of our dudes? I don't remember if he was really good or not. We're ahead of time on military tech. Oh my gosh, he's so good. He's amazing. I was reading about it in the forums. Apparently there was a bug where you could actually get generals who had... I don't know, it wasn't generals. You could get rulers who had more than six stats. Which is... Um, it was There's some event chain. I don't remember which country it was, but it can actually increase the stats of your ruler. So if you had a natural six on the, one of the scores... Take him up to seven. That got fixed, so don't try it. It won't work anymore. Okay, I assume that your siege is... Are you still at war? You are. This is, uh, I can't tell. I can't tell that it's being sieged. You used to be able to see it, even in Fog of War. Hmm. Can, we hold, can they hold out for four months? That's the real question. Okay, now we're only getting plus four. All right, I think that's good enough. Oh, we got a claim. Good. Okay, so now we'll just uh, we'll go for the alliance. All right, buddy, call me in. The nation of Norway, your faithful ally. Faithful. All of one day. Uh, yeah, we will totally accept. Gives us a little bit of trust, so just in case they get some, some territory back, they'll... They'll like us a little bit. Honored Alliance is actually only plus 10. However, fought to the end is 20, so that'll be good. Um, we are not the war leader, though. Sweden is instantly down to medium enthusiasm. And the war score is actually positive. It's actually in our favor. The war goal is Agder. I can't see if it's being sieged, though. Did they, like, turn around or something? No, it's not gonna happen. Whatever it is that you're planning. I've got a 6-6 six, six and a... 3-4 and a bunch of badass dudes that want to come say hi. This is our best siege, guys. We're gonna bring him up, too. We'll take all the leaders. And, uh... Let's see, we got excellent supply, so I guess we'll have you guys go there, we'll have you guys go there, and we'll have you guys come up behind. Um, this army... Unlikely to engage... That way. We'll actually have you come up to Neva. Kind of a backup army. Now I have a navy out here, do we have to worry about Sweden's navy? No. Sweden's navy's apparently not a concern. I don't want Norway to win so much that they, like, aren't willing to become a vassal, so we'll help them. But only to a certain extent. If they force me to, I'll peace out separately. I'm certainly not transferring occupation of anything back to them. Darn center of reformation. Uh, we're not going to take the military or the tech costs, unless I already have it. I can't remember. No. But we will carpet siege. I 
How on earth did you end up in a cell? Oh, you know what? You probably tried moving and then you got blockaded. And you're one of the three siege guys, so... Alright, uh, we'll send... You home to there. You up to there. And you back as well. We will put the leader in charge of that army. Once it arrives, we'll sub this one back. We'll just have tiny, kind of small sieges. We've got full offensive. We should siege pretty quick. Regardless of whether or not we actually have full artillery. Although it would be ideal. Also, blockading would be nice, but... And we're already up to 100 Papal Influence. Okay, Great Britain just took Gallery. From whom? Province History, where's the button? Okay. Oh, that doesn't really tell us anything. Do we just randomly gain a claim? I don't understand. It's not a big deal. Why are we losing so much money? Damn, army is expensive, man. Well, we're ahead of time in military tech, and we're not doing a military idea. And we're still focused on military until 31. I think what we'll do is we will not pay so much. Well, if we fire him. No, we're good on force limit. Yeah, we'll fire that guy. <clears throat> And then at the same time, I think we're going to actually... Do we want to raise war taxes? Probably not. We're not in control of when the war ends. I think it'd be silly to do that. Okay, here comes uh, Sweden. They actually want to fight us. Where did the 6-6 six -six go? He's up there. Just bring him back. Um, there's a leader here, so we'll send him over just so we can have a leader available. And let's assume that the battle's going to happen there. So we'll detach in and reinforce with everything we've got. Make sure that the battle holds. He might even back off. Yeah, he did. Become Papal Controller. It's too rare, too random. Take Navarra. We don't really need any of those missions. Alright, well if you're not going to advance, then we'll just kind of hang out. I will let the leader go up there though. Wow, 57. Sweden, you've got quite a few guys. Almost impressive. What do we want to do now? We've won a siege. 131 days. Denmark will cede Midtjylland. Okay, so they've pieced out somebody separately, but we're doing okay. I'm actually, I'm thinking that we'll go ahead and buy the mercantilism. Since we are so high. We already have three stability, I just I feel like well, how old's our leader? Twenty-three. Yeah, we don't we're gonna have plenty of time. We'll do it. I'm gonna cause problems for you, Sweden. You might as well just give up. What are you doing there? Switzerland. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. Our glorious army is under attack. Okay, so they've crossed in with a 17 stack. They've brought a 5-4 leader. They didn't have enough maneuver to offset the crossing penalty. This would be a situation where it would be really nice to have a navy up here. Let's do that. Let's just bring this one over. I'm curious why they didn't send more of the army, though. Alright, here it comes. If they keep on throwing... Oh, yeah, throw the whole thing, and then I can stack wipe the whole damn thing. Alright, so this is perfect. Here's what we need to do. We need to put the navy here. Make sure that we have enough men being reinforced to cover this fight. It's a big army. 
Yeah, it really is. They've got... They've got a lot. A lot of artillery. We, um... We're the defender. We actually have a tactics penalty. How is that possible? Insufficient support. Yikes. Alright, well hopefully these guys are going to be there pretty soon. 30th. And the bigger part of the army will be there on the 12th. That's too long. So we're going to stop you guys. Grab the bigger one. Forced march. 7th. That's an extra 5 days. That's one more combat. I think that's good. And, uh, let's do some com conversion. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one stay there. Might be a mistake. We'll see. We need to win this fight. Okay, our tactics penalty is now gone. Now, here's the thing. The second... I want them to be able to shatter across this. So, what we're gonna do is... We're gonna... Let's see, if I put this navy here, are they going to try to shatter around? I think they might. I'm going to put it in the northern Baltic Sea. Now, shatter. Shatter on command. Go down to speed 3. Next day. Next day. No, what are you doing, Norway? Don't put a navy there! You bastard. Why, why would you have a navy there? You're supposed to shatter across the strait so I can kill them all. Damn. Okay, we only have one leader in this army, let's just combine it. And then, apparently, yeah, they're just gonna shatter all the way home now. Thanks a lot, Norway. Idiot. I swear, it's like you don't want to win the war. That's just dumb. Oh, hey, Bavaria's only right here. Ooh, that's rather insufficient looking. So these zombies certainly do need some time to recover. Why don't we take them to occupy our controlled territory up here? Both of them, if possible. If they can get there before the end of the month, that'd be ideal. You won't be there till December 13th. Jeez. Alright, there we go. We can get to controlled territory by the 29th. The reason for that, if you're, you know... If, if you look at the... right here... That's the morale recovery rate, but then you can see here the reinforcement rate. We have tons of manpower, but because we're in non-friendly territory, the local reinforcement rate is 50%. So, by moving to controlled territory, up here we're getting 90% reinforcement rate. So, up to 9% of the, of the regiment's rate, so 90 men per troop. Should go right back to... Was that 90? I felt like less than 90. I guess, oh, okay, it's because the attrition affected it as well. We'll go siege Lapland because it's inland. It'll be very quick to siege. So we got one month of recovery, and um, it's certainly more recovery than Bavaria got. And we'll go fight again. Damn winter. And damn you, Norway. Oh, hey, it's the Swedish fleet. Kill it. Oh, do we still force march on? No. Okay. Well, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we want to retreat. The majority of the army. And just back off a bit. No reason to be aggressive when we don't need to be. Although, I would like for this war to end. We're still improving relations with you, right? Oh, you love me. Yeah, who's your daddy? <laughs> you want to join the Commonwealth? Just admit it. Alright, cool. Well, I don't know how much longer it's going to take, but um, I'm assuming that... I mean, England or uh, Norway might even press to get their cores back. But now that Sweden's down to low... They'll probably send surrenders to Norway, and they might... they might accept. 
We bring all the armies back home. Except for the little stacks over there. That army up there is kind of isolated, though. Why don't we provide it with, um... A backup army. It's all forests. As long as they're adjacent to each other, they should be safe. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.